Not much is left of Wade Wright's community. The longtime Garen Creek Fire Chief is doing his best to stay focused on his job as chief despite losing multiple family members. I know it hit eventually, but you know, we still have our moments, but I'm trying not to think about it right now because we've got other things to take care of. The catastrophic flooding and mudslides ripped through without much notice last Friday. I realized we were stuck at the house and in trying to save things and everything, the water rose so fast and got so strong that I just had to grab a post and hold on. And when it got up to about this close to the ceiling, I got worried that I was going to run out of air. We heard countless stories of survival like Bud Marlowe's. Two it's women and their dog were inside one of these homes Our as it floated down miles down, down the mountain. This is where it ended up. The people who found them say it's a miracle they're still alive. I mean, we've had floods, but nothing like this. Despite the horror, the community is proving to be resilient setting up a shelter at a nearby church. Yeah. We're trying to get something a little more organized right now. We're not FEMA or anything. There, residents can get fresh food and water. And thanks to one man, Starlink, they can let loved ones know they are OK. That's the reality is that not everyone made it. The search for those missing, only growing more desperate with each day. At least five urban search and rescue teams with dogs are in this community alone. A community essentially wiped off the side of the mountain. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.